Well, how can you condemn the Labour Party? I don't know what the Labour Party's position is. Well, I mean, what's your position? My position is that the strike shouldn't have gone ahead because the government should have negotiated. But the government put but given that the union, has. the government put the union in an invidious position. The train operators and the government only came forward with a counter proposal yesterday. Now, that is no way, after three weeks' notice, to negotiate a strike. I remember when we had the bin strike in Brighton. The mm. Greens stood back and they said, this is for the officers and the managers to negotiate, nothing to do with us. And in the end, it required us and the Conservatives to force the Greens to get round the table, get a mediator in, and that's how we stopped the bin strike. You stop it through negotiation with political but the and Labour politicians. Party position and the on Conservatives this. are refusing to get round the table, well, and well, it might take well, us to force them to get round the table. There's a lot of criticism of the Conservatives. Party, yeah. but I have no idea what your party's policy our view is. is that, I have no idea. Our view is that the Conservatives, just like when no, the no, Greek, no, no, no. should what's get your, round the table what's your and they should negotiate do you a deal support, do you like as a party, Wales. Do you as a party support mm -hmm. people going on strike tomorrow? Well, I think they have been left with no other choice. I would prefer so that they. Do. I would prefer that they didn't. But at the moment, the government refusing to negotiate means that that, that that without any other choices, they are, of course, inevitable. That is a real shame. So I will support them. Of course, I will support those individual workers right. who are making okay. that no, difficult choice. That. But I want it to end as soon as possible, and that's how you negotiate. The government is going to try to stop wage inflation. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the yeah. 1970s in my talk in yeah. earlier. It didn't really matter whether it was Wilson mm -hmm. or Heath in office. The wage demands kept coming in from strong unions and inflation kept going and kept spiraling. 10% is the starting point of the negotiation. All the RMT are asking to stop the strike is an agreement that there will be no compulsory redundancies while the restructuring process and modernisation in the railways happens. Now, that is not a hard well, demand to meet. That is not a demand for high... Are they prepared high... to modernise? Are they prepared to get rid of the 35-hour week? Well, in Wales... Doesn't they, seem, in, doesn't Wales in, in England, they are. In Wales, they have discussed that and they have agreed a pathway to modernisation, and it is the same leadership in England. I don't see why they wouldn't agree something very similar, but it requires decent people to get round the table and negotiate.